We tend not to try and talk about the bad accidents. I remember one bad accident, got woken up about 3.30 in the morning and I raced outside and there was a car on the opposite side of the road. That was just horrific. There's no back road. If it's a bad accident, they sit there for up to five hours, hundreds and hundreds of cars. You know, you've had, I've had people in tears, they've missed ferries, they've missed international flights. Um, being stuck in that traffic is not just about sitting in a car waiting, it's actually about, it impacts on people's lives. I would take water out for kids and animals and um, just, you know, just tell people that it's going to be a long time. You either turn around and go back to where you were or just sit there for five hours. One time I went out there and this, this, there was this couple in the car with a child and they'd just flown in from England, so this is obviously pre-COVID. And um, she, I said, it's going to be a long time. And she said, oh, dying for a cup of tea. I said, well, come in and have one. So that she, she and the um, boy came in and had a cup of tea. And once it was a van, load, a van load of elderly Samoan women. They all sat under the trees and I took them out cups of tea. and. You just do what you can. It's a huge relief. When that motorway comes through, there will be a, you know, this will be the back road. So this road has to happen. It has to happen. It's not a nice to do, it's a has to do.